Each of us has within us a weak aspect, eager to give up freedom for the comfort of being dominated. But we also have a will to power that desires freedom, that insists on deciding for ourselves, each of us, individually, what is good and what is evil. Are there any questions? Doesn't anyone want to challenge Justin's thesis? Are you all willing to submit to this Darwinian struggle of competing egos? I got a question. Oh, Mr. Haywood, you're away. <laughs> Let's hear it. Uh, yeah, what's a dork like you know about power? <laughs> what would an ignoramus like you know about philosophy? Keep it civil, please. <laughs> What are you talking about? Are you talking about crime? Good question. You should wake up more often, Haywood. <laughs> what about it, Justin? All real freedom risks crime. Indeed, freedom is crime because it thinks first of itself and not of the group. Thank you, Justin. Very daring. Thank you. <laughs> For those of you who are interested in the source of Mr. Pendleton's report, you might want to take a look at the works of Friedrich Nietzsche. You really need to get laid, Bonaparte.